Hi everyone and welcome back to Shell's Glam Home for 2023. I'm so excited to be back with my first video for this year guys and today we're starting in my kitchen with not one but two DIY projects. I hope you enjoy. So guys, we're going to start with my range hood. Now you would have seen in a previous video that I covered it in some contact paper and this beautiful wallpaper. But this year I have convinced hubby to make me a range hood cover. So of course we needed to take a trip to Bunnings. So we started off purchasing the small version of the VJ panelling. Now this looks like a shiplap guys, I've used it all throughout my home and I'm going to pick that up first of all. Now to cover around the bottom of the shiplap, I'm going to go in with these pieces of pine. So we're also looking at some pieces of timber for the trim. Now you'll see as the project goes along that my husband's going to trim out the bottom of the project and these were the ones that we picked up. We also picked up these brackets. Now what we're looking at here are some plastic moulding that actually covers each corner of your project. Now we ended up actually purchasing the timber ones to paint, but these are also a very good idea if you're planning on doing this type of project. So taking our pieces of pine, my hubby first of all is going to cut them to size and what we're going to do first of all is make a frame around the bottom of the range hood. Now after nailing everything in place, my hubby then took those brackets and also screwed those in place. So guys, we did come up with a little bit of a challenge here. Our range hoods buttons actually are at the front, not underneath like some are, and we didn't want to have to change our whole range hood here. So my hubby come up with a great idea of when he made the frame at the bottom, he made it so it just comes out a little bit, so we still have very easy access for it to be operational. Now here we decided to take it actually back off because my hubby found that it was so much easier to put the trim work on first before then placing it back onto the range wood. So what he's doing here is cutting all that trim work to size and then putting it in place. So once that's complete, the hubby then placed it back onto the range hood and drilled it into each side. So now we're going to get started on supporting the shiplap. So hubby's showing you here that he was going to place a piece of timber at the top. What we decided to do is actually cut that timber in half and you'll see in a moment that he actually screws it on the inside. He then cut the shiplap to size and he also took another piece of shiplap and you can see here the left and right corners and he's going to cut them out. So we started first of all that making sure that everything fitted nicely. Now my hubby is pointing here and showing you how he did this. So basically he just put some brackets at the bottom of the range hood and then up the top are those two pieces of timber and he's going to screw them at either end. So now there's a number of different ways you can make these range hood covers guys, but we found this was the most inexpensive and easiest to do. Now I was 
was really excited guys how it was looking off camera we actually did that corner capping you can see on either corner and I just love how neat it made the project so now it is time for painting Now I gave the bottom two coats of Cabot's interior stain in the colour Walnut. It's such a pretty colour guys. I then went in and painted the shiplap white and the trimming and I painted that in Dulux white on white. So guys, now we're on to my second DIY. Now I've always wanted a cross at the end of my island. So we headed back to Bunnings and we picked up this pine as well. We also picked up some maxi nails adhesive. Now once we were home, I decided to paint them first of all before we constructed them. That way I would get no paint on my island bench. Once they were dry, my hubby is then going to create angles to make a complete frame around the outside of my island. We're then going to take that liquid nails and put the first piece in place. Now you can see here that my hubby is placing the glue on each individual piece first. Now we left it about five minutes on each one guys. It works really well when the glue is a little bit dry and tacky and because of the fact that this is Caesar stone bench tops we wanted to make sure it's definitely going to secure. We also went in and added the masking tape to either end to secure it in place while it was drying. I was so excited at this point guys because I could see my vision coming to life. So here my hubby is measuring each corner before he cuts so that when he cuts that it will go perfectly in place. kitchen is my favorite thing in my whole house guys but I just wanted to add these extra touches that the kitchen didn't come with and I absolutely could not have done this without my amazing hubby he always brings my visions to life he always tells me to stay off Pinterest but honestly guys I really couldn't do this without him
Guys, we've been in this home seven years and if you've been following me for a while, you'll know that we have done so many DIY projects, creating it into a beautiful, cosy home. I am so, so proud of our home and I could not be this proud of it without the help of my amazing hubby. Honestly, guys, he does 99% of the projects here in this home, especially when it comes to the major ones. So I really appreciate everything he does for me because honestly I really need to stay off Pinterest because I've always got some form of DIY project happening but when it comes to this type of construction it's definitely all about the hubby. I'm so excited to be back sharing more videos with you here at Shell's Glam Home for 2023. Now I just wanted to let you know guys that my schedule this year is every Sunday morning at 8.30am Australian Eastern Standard Time I'll be uploading a brand new video for you all. Now I have so many videos coming your way including for my blush pink lovers lots of Valentine's Day decorating as well. So don't forget to tap your notification bells so you'll be aware next time I upload a video. Thank you so much for watching guys. I truly hope you've enjoyed this video, my first video for 2023. Don't forget to tap your notification bells, hit that subscribe button and come on board for more adventures here at Shell's Glam Home. So until next time my friends, I thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.